Hey guys, Sir Cruggleswith here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about our loadout system. I don't know how that looked. All right, the first thing I want to mention is that our loadout system, uh, every single weapon has a point value, and each person can only have 10 points worth of, of weaponry in their loadout. So your loadout cannot consist of uh, 17 pole arms. That's not going to work. You're not going to be able to hold that much. So instead of classes and instead of, instead of things like that, you just have, have your loadout. Your loadout kind of defines your character in our LARP rather than uh, specific like wizards, thieves, stuff like that. That's good. Anyways. Uh, so we're going to talk about all of the weapons from lowest point values to highest point values here, and they all come in between 1 and 10. So we'll start with 1, the throwing knives and other small throwing arms usually that, that we'll use. So these will take up 1 point in your loadout. You can throw these at people, and uh, they're, they're flimsy and, and, and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at 2 points, we have our daggers and tomahawks and other small arms like that. Uh, some of these are throwable, the coreless things are throwable, and you'll see us do that occasionally. Uh, these tomahawks are, we have other crappier looking daggers that we throw around. These are really tough, so we don't throw these, but we throw the heck out of some tomahawks. If you throw that at me. <laughs> eh. Coming in at a whopping hole, three points out of your loadout are a few uh, small, small arms as well, uh, including a buckler or a small circular shield. Not quite as big as a punch shield, but whatever, who cares? Short swords of all of all types, small hand axes, and uh, what we're calling a javelin, but is really just an axe with the axe heads ripped off of it. But <laughs> you can throw this at people too. We need more stuff. <laughs> Next up, the four point weapons, in, including but not limited to a small shield, regular old swords. Uh, one-handed hammers and maces, and one-handed battle axes. Uh, most of the time, our, your four-point or higher weapons will have some sort of uh, other things associated to them as being heavy-headed, like axes, hammers, and maces, or being able to disarm your opponents, like axes or anything with a hook, really. So, yeah, that's kind of how we would define a four-point weapon. Also, everything is uh, based on length, so the longer the weapon, the more points in your loadout it's going to take, because the more advantage it gives you over your opponent. Coming in at five points is the bulk of our armory. Uh, larger shields, longer swords, harder and heavier hitting hammers, and bigger axes. These are defined at five points because of their length, hitting power, and amount of shielding that they bring to your body. So, the longer, the bigger, the more badder it is. Next up are six point weapons, or weapon. The only thing we have for a six-pointer army right now is very special. It's our bow and arrow. This is one of the uh, better ranged weapons we have that no one ever uses. It's mainly useful in more team-based games, so we'll hope to see some, some good action with this bad boy in the future. At seven points, we have the largest weapons in our arsenal currently. Uh, and these will be, uh, for most pole arms, will fall in at seven points, or a uh, traditional greatsword, which we don't currently have. But Halberds, and spears, and the like all fall in at seven points. They're big, they're bad, they're oppressive, and they can reach out and touch you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This is going to be the first part of what we hope to be a small series about how we do things here, what our LARPing style is. So if there's anything you want to see or want to explain, let us know in the comments below. Anything you want to see us do, let us know in the comments below. We're always open to suggestions. Thank you all so much. Click another video to go ahead and watch some more, or click the subscribe button if you like what you see.